Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty fun day. I've been a few nights before, but never for a baby. Um, so it's just, yeah. Now I've just got broken some John Julio, Julio. I don't know how to say this shit. I don't actually drink tequila, but she's gonna need it. You can never fail to see more buffoonery on TikTok. Welcome guys to another video. Today we're going to be talking about how this TikTok influencer found it okay to film a vlog for a baby's funeral. Yep, you heard me right. She found it okay to film a vlog for a baby's funeral that she was invited to and is not even part of the close friends of the parents or the family that is observing that kind of unfortunate event in your life. Oh, I just got break of some John Julio, Julio. I don't know how to say this shit. I don't actually drink tequila, but she's gonna need it. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be a pretty fun day. I've been to funerals before, but never for a baby. Um, so it's just, yeah. I am. Uh, there's not a lot to say to me. This person decided that it was okay to give a grieving mother alcohol as a gift just because oh child i don't even know what to say people like this you couldn't even search it up online there you could literally go on reddit and search up what can i give as a gift to someone that is grieving a baby literally you can go online and search that so this is just minus one in my books honestly so as you guys can see in that video she went on to the funeral that was happening in the home and basically vlogged everything another thing that you guys don't know is that she decided to get drunk in the funeral maybe she took some shots of that tequila that she brought for herself but there was another person that came out with a video of her own buffoonery like she took a video of her speaking things that were inappropriate during that time and also given a speech that wasn't wanted because apparently the person that filmed the video which was the other creator said that Tasha had asked the parents or the mom of the child to give a speech but the mom said no just close friends and family which Tasha wasn't a close friend and family of that of the mom technically but she still decided to give a speech and the speech was crazy the speech was she was slurring her words so you knew that she was obviously drunk during that time and she was also saying a lot of inappropriate things really we can speak we can say something it's a woman who touched my life and will continue to do so i never got the pleasure to make cash because of my own circumstances as broken but I know how much of a mother and how much she blossomed during that period of having cash in her life and it was so honouring to see how fucking nurturing and beautiful and how in tune you were with your instincts and being cash with mother and it breaks my heart that I never got to meet him but I'm glad that I got to be in your life and I'm glad I got to be here today and I'm, I'm sorry that I never got to be here and meet him himself but I'm glad that I get to be here to you and I love you and I can't imagine what you'd be feeling right now I can never ever ever put myself in your shoes but I'm so proud of you and proud of how you've handled the situation and proud of how you've handled all the media and everything and it's so inspiring and honourable and honestly like I know how hard this has been for you but I'm so 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 proud of you and how you've handled this and this is your baby boy and he'll forever be your baby boy and I love you so much and he's forever going to be within your DNA and within your heart and within your body and everything and I love you and I'm, I'm so 
So she ended up bringing out a response after this whole drama started on TikTok and everyone was kind of outing her out during the whole party and all that. And so she ended up bringing, she ended up making a video and posting her response to the things that led up to the time she had to go for the baby's funeral. I'm going to address the funeral that I attended the so-called tape that everyone is talking about and the thing that I'm getting cancelled for, per se. For the video posted yesterday, when I said function, I was referring to um, a baby shower, not a funeral. The funeral came after that. What I was bringing up in the beginning of the video was all prior to anything happening. And then I said, obviously, she got bad news. And then I sent a little gift basket. That's all that I touched on in that video. So prior to the funeral, I was pregnant. I was pregnant. Veruca and I were friends. And I was talking to her about my pregnancy, what I wanted to do, whether I was going to choose to keep it or not. She was just like, oh, keep it. Get the dad off the fucking baby certificate, whatever. So I ended up going through and getting an abortion. Once I had the abortion, I had a lot of emotions that I obviously was subconsciously not aware about and those things kind of don't come up until you're put into a situation where it kind of reminds you or triggers those emotions to come back up so like i said in the other video earlier i already sent her i got her baby shower gifts essentially and then i was in america when everything happened when i came home um so when i was in america i couldn't be here so i sent her flowers and a teddy to be like fuck i'm so sorry sending you love from you know another country i was just sorry i couldn't be there so after i sent those flowers and everything she didn't reach out obviously she's got shit going on fair fair but the thing is um i when i came home right i got an invite to the funeral so when i got an invite to the funeral i literally said to my friends i was like i don't think this is a good idea because i just had an abortion and all of my friends told me I had just had an abortion it was definitely not a good idea for me to beat it at one of those things but I tried to put it aside because in my head I was like well no like be there for your friend you know it doesn't matter what you had to go through so that's what I kind of put my mindset into so I went to the funeral I went to the funeral um i had already sent her flowers and a teddy and i had messaged her directly which i'm sure she can show you the messages since she's already posted them um that i said to her i was like hey babe like what's your favorite drink i'm gonna get you that instead of flowers for one that i've already sent that are gonna die to already send her a teddy that was my thought process i'm not saying that's how people think but that was my own thought process she told me her favorite type of tequila i don't even drink tequila i went out i bought the tequila and then that's what i rocked up to the funeral with although people suggest that tequila isn't a good thing to give to a grieving mother um for one i didn't know that apparently she had substance abuse issues in the past which everyone then came at me for they're like why would you give alcohol to someone that used to be an alcoholic bitch i've only known this person for like six months how the fuck am i supposed to know that but anyway 
Obviously, the part that she brings up of her not knowing about the mom's substance abuse and her thinking that tequila was an okay choice of drink because she had asked her in the messages what her favorite type of drink was. I think that's fair to say. Personally, I would not give a grieving mom tequila or any kind of drink at all because it's just, in my opinion, it's like you're telling them to solve their problems with drinking it's not a good thing to think about if we truly think about it lost someone and then you know giving them their favorite tequila and whatever personally i wouldn't do that I look for something healthy to gift them just so they don't start to spiral down into a hole even if they've never had any kind of substance abuse i get to the funeral i give her the gift that i bought and then i'm yeah she's like okay well should we do shots once i got to the funeral there was already like two massive sl slushy machines filled with vodka to the brim there was vodka everywhere everyone was drinking alcohol so it wasn't like i was the only one that decided to bring alcohol or anything like i said i don't drink tequila um we had a couple tequila shots with veruca and a few of the other girls and then after that it sent me because again tequila is not my alcohol so i started to get very emotional very worked up because obviously i was there for her baby's funeral but then obviously within that i hadn't realized all the shit that i hadn't processed with my abortion so i just got super emotional so long story short i was hysterical at the funeral i was hysterical when the balloons got released i was hysterical inside when we were all inside everyone was talking about going to the casino after i was teary in a fucking mess so i was like look i can come if you want but um i'm gonna have to like go home and get freshened up first and then i'll come back and everyone was like yeah yeah do that come back and then i did that and i came back and then at that stage everyone had left and then it was just me her and i think maybe two of her family members left over I stayed for like another hour or so and then I went home. When I went to the funeral, I wasn't planning on drinking. I drove there myself. Like I wasn't planning on drinking at all. And then when I went inside, okay, they were like, the slushies have way too much alcohol in them. There's alcohol here. Let's do shots. Like I wasn't the one condoning the drinking to start with. I got drunk, obviously. I got so emotional. And yeah, I cried. I cried a fucking lot because I was letting out all the emotions from my abortion. Plus, I was processing being there for someone that has obviously lost their child. And it was heavy, bro. It was very heavy. She does mention, and if you also go on her page, she does mention that she had an abortion time in the past before this whole um, drama started or at least before she went to the baby's funeral of her friend that she had only known for six months now a lot of people in the comments keep saying well she had an abortion it's not the same thing as losing your baby whatever whatever it is i don't care because at the end of the day those two things are traumatic and a lot of people have different ways to deal with different type of things now what i will say is that I think she was a little bit irresponsible in the sense of if you don't, if you know you don't do well with alcohol and you're going through something that could potentially trigger some kind of trauma that you have, I'm sorry, why not take that responsibility to actually put yourself in a better situation? And yes, she doesn't have control over the alcohol that's there, but she could have done a better job at controlling the amount of alcohol that she consumed just so she doesn't make a mess of herself in the party especially since she's only known this lady for six months she doesn't know who else is there and the lady probably just invited her as hey you're my friend i know we just met recently but you've been in my life for a little bit that's honestly my only criticism i do have about this whole situation that happened because she made a mess of herself during the funeral like she was shouting rest in pussy and you know and whatever like that's crazy to me that's crazy to be shouting in a baby's funeral and because she was drunk obviously after the funeral i sent veruca a few messages and i was like look i know my behavior wasn't okay i'm really sorry um and 
yeah, I was just trying to be accountable for what I did, which I was. And yeah, I was sending her messages. I messaged a few of our mutual friends, checking in on her, making sure that she was okay. And then just also saying to them, look, you know, if or when you see her, just let her know that I am sorry for how I behaved. I was very accountable. Never expected her to forgive it or anything like whatever also if you drove yourself there and you saw alcohol i think anyone should have the mental capacity or at least the responsibility to not drink or at least to drink a little bit because you know you're gonna drive yourself back home like that's just irresponsible at that moment you drove there obviously you weren't planning on drinking there was alcohol there like don't don't drink if you know you're gonna drive yourself back home okay like this is all excuses in my opinion a human i was processing my emotions and in theory it would have been better for me to not go to the funeral um because then i'm not accidentally projecting my shit onto other people but then also not making something that isn't about me sort of about myself I already replied over several messages. I tried to not be overbearing. I tried to be accountable and responsible for my actions, which I believe the messages I sent to Veruca prior to that one screenshot that she showed. I was trying to reach out and I was trying to be accountable. I wasn't expecting her to turn around and be like, that's okay, babe, don't worry about it. I wasn't expecting that at all. I just wanted her to, I just wanted her to know that I knew I fucked up, which I'm human, everyone fucks up. I had so much unresolved shit in my head that came up during that funeral. So it was just not a good idea for me to go to an infant's funeral when I had just had an abortion at the end of the day. In the video I posted yesterday where I was ranting about the gift thing, that wasn't referring to the any gifts from a funeral or for the funeral. It was referring to the gifts from the baby shower um, because I was like, this bitch is having a baby. I, I I know people with babies. I raised children when I was growing up. I raised my siblings. So I was just like, I, got, I pretty much got her all the basic shit that I thought she would need. And that's what I was upset I didn't get a thank you about. This was all prior to the funeral. So this has nothing to do with the funeral. This is how I felt before the funeral, but I put it aside once I found out everything happened. And I was like, fuck, I need to put my feelings aside, be there for this person. Clearly I got super emotional. My emotions were super heightened. And yeah, I have, I had an, un, un, I had a lot of unresolved shit going on that I didn't realize. But the thing is at the end of the day is I didn't know that in my head and I'm apologetic. I apologize to her. So everyone that's commenting in fucking my things, whatever you're commenting on i did apologize to her i sent her messages i obviously wasn't going to, gonna go up to her face and be like i'm sorry and like force her to see me say sorry um but yeah i reached out to her i sent several messages but yeah at the end of the day i am aware of my actions i'm aware of what happened and there's not a lot that i can do now besides learn better for next time essentially not go to a funeral if you've had a abortion at the funeral the mother of the child said that um social media is okay she wants her son to be remembered but just not to include any of obviously any personal things obviously hers or the funeral companies anything like that but from the beginning of the funeral she said yep i want my son to be remembered you know social media is okay i made sure of that as well when I made the TikTok about um, Cash's funeral and I showed the balloons releasing to the air and everything and me talking about me buying a bottle of alcohol and stuff, I never realized that was going to hurt people's feelings or hurt hers particularly. Um, but that's exactly why I reached out to her directly and I sent her messages um, being accountable and apologizing and yeah, realizing the mistake that I had done. And apparently I accidentally flashed my pink undies. I don't know. I am human. I'm an adult. I made a mistake. I'm still learning to navigate this life. I'm accountable for it. I was accountable to her for it. Um, she mentioned in her live that there was tea to spill about us because she was trying to raise money for a family in Gaza. Um, from what I understand, she hit the target, which is great, but that's where she dropped a few little crumbs about this. Um, and yeah just goes on to say how she has messaged the lady which was the mom of the baby and asked for forgiveness and also taking accountability for the actions that she made she knows that she did make mistakes i didn't hear about the lady responding she didn't say anything about her responding to any of the things that she did probably she doesn't want to because you really messed up like big time but that's all it is here for the video that we do have here there's really nothing else that 
that's coming up on her channel about this topic she has gone forward to keep on making more videos than she usually does before this whole drama started and like i said earlier i am not going to downplay someone's drama if she had an abortion and someone else lost their baby those are two things that are not really good to remember those are two traumatic things and those are two losses that you can't really quantify like because like i said earlier a lot of people say in the comments well she decided to you know delete her baby herself whatever it is that doesn't mean that there's still that there isn't some kind of loss that is attributed to that y'all read up on this people that do go end up with abortion end up with a lot more trauma than they honestly signed up for anyways like i said and i will stand by it she should have honestly been careful if she knew that something like this was going to trigger her especially when she got into the event space and everything that was around her about you know babies and all that if she was getting really triggered she should have just not had alcohol at all because she would have probably been able to handle her emotions a lot better if she wasn't impaired anyways that is all i have to say for this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below this is wild i who would have thought you would hear about baby drama or this kind of drama on tiktok anyways like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video enjoy the rest of your day and stay blessed